Honestly, I'm very, very proud of it. Uh, I, I, like, I've set goals at the beginning of the season. Uh, it actually went uh, beyond my expectations in a way. Like, um, obviously, uh, reaching the world number one was uh, something in my mind for the whole thing. Uh, but I think the the strategy or the mindset that I had was uh, was a bit different this time, and I was more not thinking about the ranking as much as wanting to win titles. So. Uh, uh, like honestly winning four in a row World Series like tournaments was something uh, uh, that I was really happy with. Obviously some disappointments in the middle but uh, it's my first time to end the season as World number one so I I'm still learning on how uh, obviously we had a lot of tournaments so uh, uh, there were some moments where uh, the body was burned out <laughs> and uh, it's, it's not only about your body, you have to always keep the, as you're saying, the hunger and the, the motivation. And I think it's all about that being world number one. It's, uh, it's the hardest you can actually achieve uh, because you always have to be on top of your form. Everyone is here to, to chase you. Everyone wants to, to beat you on any day. And you are the one player that has to, uh, to always have this form and uh, be able to, even if you're not playing your best, be able to, to still beat everyone. So... Um, I think even uh, if unconsciously you won't feel it, but there is there is a pressure coming with with the number one spot, and uh, um, I think it's how to to learn how to manage this kind of pressure uh, on and off court. There were some disappointment. I didn't win everything, so it's actually I see it as a positive thing because. Uh, um, there is room for me to improve. There is room to uh, to gain more points. There is room to uh, uh, to still like uh, it's like like I didn't do everything perfect, so I still have some room of improvement, uh, which actually makes me uh, uh, very excited because I feel like if 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 I still have some improvement and some adjustment that I need to do, and I'm I'm being the best player in the world right now, it's. It's actually a bonus and a positive thing to think about. <laughs> All together, uh, about firstly, like uh, wanting to improve as a squash player, uh, wanting to uh, to work on my weaknesses more, wanting to uh, to perform better every time I'm on court. Uh, so it helped me like to think more about. Uh, it helped me more about like winning tournaments and uh, not really thinking about the ranking because. I always say it, but this time I feel like uh, I truly understood the, the meaning behind it, that the ranking will always take care of itself. As, as long as I'm doing well, I'm good doing my part, uh, I'm trying to win. Uh, uh, I think ranking is the last thing you have to think about it. Last time when I, when I, I, I became world number one, uh, like, I wouldn't say like I didn't earn it that way, but uh, some people obviously they 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 thought like uh, yeah she she got to this spot because Ranim like she just retired and everything but so actually uh, I really wanted to earn this spot by doing something uh, like uh, really really good that no one would expect like uh, I don't think like anyone before the season would have expected me to uh, uh, winning four titles four world tournaments like in a row. Um, was something that uh, I was very happy with. Um, I, I was just trying to prove to myself uh, that I can be better than, than why, what I'm thinking. <laughs> uh, I, I think the Egyptian Open was, was, was the, the, the one that uh, I really remember really well because uh, I was 10-7 uh, down in the last game and then I won it. and. Uh, uh, it's it's a big event for for everyone, but for Egyptians especially. And uh, playing in front of the pyramids, in front of the crowd, and everything is is huge. And uh, it was a big final. It was a big battle. And uh, uh, I I lost two finals before that. I lost the World Champs, and then I lost the British Open, which I was really close to win it as well. So uh, I just felt like the, the fire I had in my <laughs> in myself it all came out during that match. And uh, uh, it just helped me to keep the momentum for the rest of the season and uh, really this match uh, helped me a lot for, for the rest of the season, I think. But the, the World Champs, uh, yeah, in a way, for some reason, I, I, I was feeling like I'm, a, I'm the favorite, although I, didn't, I wasn't the defending champion or everything, but um, like um, everyone was talking about the form and everything and the expectations of me winning it, which... 
uh, which was a good thing that uh, I felt like I was ready to uh, to get this title and grab it. But um, as I told you, you always learn. There is different. Uh, there is different uh, circumstances. Um, uh, it's a different uh, kind of tournament. It's a, it's a very long one. You have to uh, to learn how to uh, to manage the pressure, the matches, the everything. So. Uh, uh, and the hardest part was obviously to back up myself and uh, and play Arguna after this one uh, wasn't easy for sure. But uh, as I, I was telling you, like if you want to be the best player in the world, you just have to take it and then on to the next one. And that's that's actually what I learned during this tournament, uh, this this season. Whereas I'm gonna win or lose, I just have to forget about it and forget about the emotions. It just takes one one night, and then you have to get back to work because there is no time. If if you just sit there and you're celebrating too much or you're being sad too much, you're just gonna lose the next one. So there's no time for anything. You just have to uh, to get back to work and uh, and and wait for the results. <laughs> I don't think I will ever stop uh, playing this game until I again uh, <laughs> I win this title because uh, it means everything. It's it's the most important one, and um, winning it once uh, I would love to win it twice, three times, four times if I'm able to do it. Um, but um, but I had my reasons when I lost this this final, and I felt like I was peaking really high. I, I won four tournaments in a row, so. There, there was gonna like happen something in the middle, and I have to lose some matches. It's not like I'm gonna win everything, but um, I don't think I did put pressure on myself. I just felt like the way the season was going, and uh, the way I was playing as well, and uh, the the confidence and everything uh, would have helped me to to believe that I was I was able to to grab this one. Like there, in the past, there were certain titles where, for example, like the first title I won, like the Hong Kong Open, I went there. I was the underdog. It's it's a very different, uh, it's a very different mindset. It's a very different uh, um, kind of thinking about the tournament. I was going there, enjoying myself, playing the top girls. Now it's completely different. So uh, um, you just try to learn and. Uh, it's by experience. You will never, you will, as they're saying, like you always have to, um, to like, uh, to learn the hard way, and uh, it's it's never for free, you know. Like uh, you have to to lose certain things, and you have to learn because by winning you never really learn. It's it's more by losing and uh, and losing stuff that you really want as well. Um, but it showed me how much I want this and how uh, how hungry I am, and uh, that. I nearly, I, I didn't achieve half of what I want now. So uh, uh, that's a good thing to, to take out of uh, these losses. And uh, uh, I'm, I'm happy to see what next season is going to bring. <laughs>